Hello YouTube, this is Fortnite Fails, JJ from channel JJ coming back to you with another video. We'll see if we'll do multiple stories here, but right now I'm making, I'm reading one about Survivor from Insider. Survivor Warner slammed the show for forcing contestants to continue competing in their underwear 41 seasons. Give them some dignity. And I look at the picture of who's complaining and it's, I see it's a, uh, and um, I see her. I have not seen Survivor, or have I? But I don't see it every season. I might have seen it once or twice. Not, not. I'm not a constant viewer of that. But anyway, I'm listening to this. She's making this statement, and I'm like, wow. That's you chucked your dignity at the door when you chose to sign up, knowing what the competition would be. Didn't you sign a contract or something? And it's like, yeah. This, I, I don't mind, demand, mind competing in these conditions. So, I mean, and if she really feels this way about it, that, oh my gosh, what you're doing is so terrible to the people, then give the money back and be like, I want nothing to do with this anymore. <laughs> if you really feel that strongly about that, but you're not going to do that. You sound like one of those Hollywood girls that'd be like, oh my God, the industry is so sexist. I would, there's, there's a rape culture and whatnot after they just finish sleeping their way to the top of the totem pole and they have nowhere else to go. Nowhere else to go. They've done all they could. That's what this girl sounds like. But let's get into this article. The Survivor winner, Partavi Shallow, is tired of watching players compete without swimsuits. The four-time competitor spoke about her time on the show on the October 24th episode, Rob Has a Podcast, hosted by her fellow former contestant, Rob. While discussing the new season 41, Shallow spoke about how frustrating it was that the show had the cont contestants competing in their underwear and no longer provided swimsuits. Shallow said she put up a huge fight to try to avoid competing in her underwear. You know, they say, oh, give me some swimsuits. Give me some swimsuits. At the end of the day, really, how different is underwear from swimsuits? Let's be real. I mean, it could be have more embroidery and design underwear, but if that's the case, just get some that don't have a bunch of embroidery. Shallow said that a lot of things change on Survivor in its 41 season, but that players are still in their underwear and they need to get bathing suits. I don't know, bring their own. Where do you wear bathing suits as underwear? She said that when she competed on season 40 that she was a new mom and tried to push back on procedures about the underwear situation. I put up a huge fight. I was like, I just had a baby. I can't be out there in my underwear, she said. Oh, well, then you're, it seems like you're sad that you... It seems like your problem is that you was not cosmetically appealing. You didn't have anything that make you uh, look good enough to be eye candy on a screen. That's why. Not that, oh my gosh, this is a, such a moral outrage. Shallow said she was being told, she was told that the production felt it was more authentic looking for people to be in their underwear. She responded by saying it wasn't and everybody knows it's a show, especially because Survivor sometimes shows the people who are holding the cameras on screen, but she didn't win the argument. The show still has players competing in their underwear, and Shallow didn't get a swimsuit that season. Shallow added, a lot of people wear their bathing suits. Give them some dignity. Players used to receive swimsuits, and it's unclear why they stopped getting them. Up until season 36, which aired in 2018, players received swimsuits. It's a whole new era of Survivor where it was bathing suits, and then all of a sudden they switched to underwear. Shallow said on the podcast, she had been able to compete in a swimsuit in the earlier seasons. It's unclear why players stopped getting swimsuits, but the theory involves the actor, director, Tyler Perry, a fan of the show who previously contributed ideas on it.
In May 2018, the show's host Jeff told The Hollywood Reporter Perry suggested that a filthier, more worn out looking swimwear make it onto the show. David Rickenbacker, a competitor on season 37 who confirmed his 2018 cohort didn't receive swimsuits a few months after Jeff's comment, previously told the insider that he blamed Perry for the supposed influence. He said that he believed bathing suits were withheld because Perry suggested that the show look more authentic. Shallow isn't the first to call out the lack of swimsuits, which can lead to serious health risks. As, as Rob mentioned, the decision to keep contestants in their underwear this season has led to a lot of not so great press. Multiple support, su survivor players have spoken with Insider about their embarrassment and health risk they face being forced to wear their underwear in the show up to 39 days. And Dr. Premel Patel, a urologist, previously told the Insider, previously told Insider that constantly wearing a less than hygienic kind of clothing for such a long time was bound to come with many health risks. For example, poor hygiene on the island combined with the warm, moist environment created by wearing wet clothes for a prolonged period can increase one's risk of contracting urinary tract infection, especially for players with vaginal cavities. Multiple contestants told Insider that they experienced severe UTI on their on or or shortly after the show. Some said they required hospitalization. Players also said they felt vulnerable and exposed on camera when they tried to clean and dry their one outfit. Multiple players have encouraged CBS to consider bringing back swimwear. Representatives for CBS and Shallow didn't immediately respond to Insider's request for a comment. Well, you know, I would say, uh, suggest that they, what you call it, be able to change underwear. And if the shows allow swimsuits, be able to choose whatever swimsuit suits that they want to be wearing, that they have, I don't know, multiple packs of that. But let's keep it real here. Nobody's forcing you to get on this show. If you get on this show, it's of your own free will. You already know what's going on. If I pop up there, I can't be crying about how, hey, give me a swimsuit. I don't want to wear a bunch of underwear. I don't want to run around in tidy whities and boxes. It don't work that way. It's been like this for several seasons. If you don't like it, you can leave. If there's something in the contract saying that once you sign this, you can't walk off. You can't you can't walk off the show, bro. I don't know that to be true. Nobody is saying, oh man, I tried to walk off, but I couldn't because I signed the contract. Nobody's saying that. It's just that, oh my gosh, what was me? Why do I have to wear this to compete for some money? When there's like several other shows that if you wanted to get on them, you can get on those shows and keep your underwear. You could uh, wear swimsuits. You could wear clothes. You could do what you want, man. So tell me what you think in the comment sections below. And yeah, this will be all for this video. This is Fortnite Fails, JJ from Channel JJ. Coming back to you with another video.